while waiting for people to queue with to get online, I wondered if a translocator ball could get into an enemy spawn. After spending 15 minutes punching a basketball, I found out that despite Overwatch's best efforts, invisible walls meant nothing to bouncy boys. I thought it would be fun to see how you could drop an EMP from, even if it was hard to do and had no real practical use. What I didn't expect was to be caught by the skybox, being free to float around at my heart's content. If any character was to break the game, it would make sense for it to be Sombra. Surprisingly, it's even possible to put a translocator on the level ceiling once you get up there. After bouncing around for a while, the translocator will get stuck and drop through the ceiling onto the next solid object. If the translocator is out of bounds, you will relocate back onto the ceiling, but if it lands in bounds, you will relocate back to the normal area. On Ilios, it's possible to visit the backside of either spawn, although it isn't very useful. You can't damage anyone from the slit in the door, and EMP can't hit through the ship either. However, as long as the enemy is visible and in range, you can hack and deal damage from the side of the ship, but be careful as you can take damage too. CCs can also affect you, with the exception of Hogstar, which can't pull Sombra through the wall. It's also possible to go behind the attacking spawn in Blizzard World, but it's much harder and is even more useless. You can even get on this tiny ledge behind spawn on Lijing if you want to throw in style. Getting behind spawn is really easy on most maps, but trying to punch and shoot a ball high enough is hard alone. Luckily, there is a way around this. As you can see from these clips, May can launch basketballs further than anyone, giving Sombra easy access to ceilings. However, there is a trick to it. The trick is to line up the ball in between two pillars where the dark spot is. This exploit doesn't seem to have many uses, but still should just be done for fun. I'm sure this will get patched up soon since it can be done in comp matches, but until then, have fun messing around top of the map. One last note, this trick can be done with Echo if she ults an enemy Sombra. Happy floating!